Hey everybody, it's Josh Doyle from Triple Threat Artist, back with another quick tip. This one is about uh, pitching. So uh, on this song I was working on, uh, I wanted a crash cymbal right on beat one of my chorus, which is pretty usual. Uh, and I was finding that for this kind of Americana folk song, um, that the crash was just kind of like too bright and too brittle. And it, this is a, a sample of a crash, uh, and it's already been processed a bit, so... Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, w I wanted to try and, uh, try and work with it and see what I could do to make it, make it fit. So this is what it sounds like uh, in the song right now, before any processing. Oh, 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 oh. And this is what it sounds like on its own. It just, it's just a little bit too brittle for my taste, especially on this song. So, uh, the first thing that I tried doing that, was, that ended up working for me was uh, putting a pitch shifter on there. So, this is just uh, Pro Tools Avid's uh, stock pitch plugin. And I just uh, pitched it, this crash cymbal down uh, a whole step. And that's what this uh, sounded like. So it gets a little degraded sounding, but in the mix, it's not that bad. And actually, I don't mind the the, the dirt that it adds in there. Uh, so this is before. And this is after. It's kind of subtle, and it didn't get it all the way there, but this is what it sounds like with the pitch in the song. Oh, hold on. In the song. So that, that kind of gets me there. One more time. So it still had a bit of high end that I was not feeling. So I just put in a uh, EQ after this and just rolled off some of this top end. And then it got me closer. So this is that. Pro the problem is that when you roll off the top end, uh, it's harder to hear, so I put a compressor after it, just a the uh, Avid's stock compressor, and this is what it sounds like now. Oh, 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 say. So this by itself. Which to me sounds a lot cooler. Like, now it sounds kind of like a like I sampled, like a crash from a vinyl record or something like that, which I think sounds cool. So that compared to what it sounded like before. And then once you add pitch and EQ on there. And then in the song with everything, this is what it sounds like. So that, I'm really happy with that. I think that sounds a lot cooler now. Um, so hopefully this, this helps and inspires. So really the things to take home on this is uh, pitching down percussion can be really cool, especially on crashes and uh, sometimes snare drums and shakers can be really cool. You can get a really cool effect by pitching down a shaker. And then don't be afraid to EQ off some of the top end. I feel like there's a thing going around right now where everybody's like after that that high end crispness, like add the air into your mixes and stuff like that, which there's definitely a place for. But also don't be afraid to go the other direction and carve out some of that high end, uh, especially if you like that that kind of like old school dirtier sound. Uh, it can really help. So if you found this video helpful and inspiring, uh, please check out triplethreatartist.com where we are always sharing tips and tricks like this and helping artists become their own producers.